Okay, so as I was going to replace my COTX filter, uh, when I tried to turn my hotspot back on, um, what happened was while I was whilst I was whilst I was attaching it to the antenna, I accidentally dropped this, which hit the front, and we all know that the COTX front port is very weak, and you can see. There's a bit of movement here, and I think what's happened is it doesn't want to turn on all the time. It only turns on if I give this a wiggle. So, um, and I've been meaning to make a video about this anyway, because th this front port is known to be very weak on the COTX, and I actually mentioned it in a previous video of mine that I didn't want to have to deal with that headache. Well, the headache's here today, so I may as well just show you how I'm going to do it. Lots of you have done this already, but there are a few people who might not feel confident enough to do this. All I can say is it's very, very easy. It requires taking off one, two, three, four screws there, um, sliding that along, and then you'll find access to some USB ports here. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. Let me just grab some tools. Just make sure that this fits. Yeah, perfect. Um, we may as well take this out now because I don't think that's going to work anymore. And what I'm going to replace it with is this Raspberry Pi official USB-C power supply. The reason being that this can output at three point, um, sorry, three three amps, and the hotspots are all run on Raspberry Pi, so you may as well use the official one. The other reason is, when I, I'm in the UK, when I got shipped it, I was given a two-pin plug, so I've been having to use an adapter, which I don't like doing. So, um, yeah, I may as well use that. I actually had this pre-ordered in anticipation of this port getting broken. So what we're going to do is just undo the front. One. That should just come away now, and as that comes away, oh, might need a bit more. So you will see, just there is a USB-C Raspberry Pi, which is a lot stronger. We also have a micro USB, so you can probably still use that one if you want, but I bought this one, so I'm going to use this one. So all you do is Now, some people, they've actually drilled a hole here to be able to then shut this and use that same casing. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just going to... put on the normal USB-C. is just plug that into here you'll hear that click and go in now um, because I have it drilled here um, I'm not going to be able to shut the case which is fine uh, all you have to do is make sure you look after these pins and reuse them when you do uh, drill a hole there or uh, actually I think if you bought it from uh, Helium Hotshot what they'll do is they'll be able to send you a new casing which allows for this what I'm going to do is actually just use some uh, some some duct tape so that I can just have this closed and in place 
uh, and I can be up and running as quick as possible. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so this is just some standard black duct tape. Just going to grab some. I know this is a bit ratchet, but um, I want to record some other videos today, so just going to grab some here. Take that off. Um, I'm probably just going to go over it here. I don't really, I don't really care for the screen. Um, I'll know if it's on because the lamp ports at the back will be lit up. Um, just go all the way around, like so. And I mean, for a 30 second fix, that's pretty solid. That's not going to go anywhere. And I'm just going to fire this back up. But there's the quick fix for a broken power port on your COTX X3 miner.